Okay, so now I've gone in and I've put in all of the riblets. It's a fairly straightforward operation. They basically just go in between the... In the last video you saw me putting in all of the shear webs. And each shear web, if you brace them against the main ribs, you end up with a gap where the the riblet must go. And so then those hold in the riblets. And then I've gone in and I've put a fillet of glue on either side of each riblet to ensure that the shear web is completely attached around its entire perimeter. So that's done. Uh, I mentioned in the last video that I may have forgotten to put riblets in underneath the center sheeting, and it's true I did. I went and found those, and I was able to turn them on their side, slot them in there, and just rotate them into place. So you can see there's a riblet there. And then there's this one, which is actually quite important, which I totally forgot to put in earlier. This is the this is a plywood rib, sub rib that holds the servo for the spoiler. So here's a servo spo a spoiler servo, and that just drops in there. Well, you'll see the rib actually has got like a little top piece here. I just cut that away. Um, I did that so that you could insert the servo into a like a fully surrounded hole but I found in my, with my last build that I just cut that away and you can screw or glue the servo in there and then that's going to lift and drop the spoiler it doesn't have to go in there now it can go in there later anyway so I was able to get these two this riblet and the one that's underneath the sheeting here inserted and I'll basically run some glue down there I fitted the servo just to be sure that there was enough room for it and so I'm just going to let some thin CA run along that. And just make sure that it's fully attached there. And do the same on the top surface. Make sure they're glued. So even if you forget those two, like I did, they're actually quite easy to just position in place and rotate so that they're vertical. Okay, got those guys in there. Okie dokie. So the next step is to position the this leading edge piece that I was telling you about earlier. So that has to go in to these little notches and slots in the in the ribs. A little bit fiddly to get them all in there. Gonna need the individual ribs to be sort of positioned.
and you can check it just by sighting along it making sure that it's straight Just gonna hold the straight edge ruler up to it. Actually, I can put. Then there's these. You know, there are two pieces of uh, the leading edge pieces are all in a sheet of four millimeter balsa, and they're because they're they're they would be too long for this nice short kit. Uh, they're cut into pieces, which you just join at that. Um, scarf joint and so one of them will be below on the bottom side of the leading edge and the other one will be on the top and so this will be sort of position like this and this and that's another way to sort of check and actually I need to uh, anyway so that is the next step I need to actually shave away some of the extra sheeting I put here to make it fit nicely. The bottom one should fit fine. So yeah, there's the bottom one. Probably the easiest way to do this is to glue the this plywood strip onto this sheet, onto the bottom piece with the ends all lined up so, it's so that it's nice and flush at the, at the leading edge. And then with the wing pinned down like that, you just position it and voila, and then hit it with glue. I can just do that right now, I think. Pin the wing down again. This, the center panel is almost done. Okay, so I'm going to pop that off. Line it up at the ends. Okay. 
Maybe we can do this actually. I'm just sort of thinking on the fly here how to do this in a way that will give a nice result. So um, the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make use of the straight edge here. And I'm going to press that up against the straight edge like that. And then this I'm going to that's there. I'm gonna there's like little tabs on the end of this. I'm gonna remove those because I want a nice square edge to line up against the, uh, the leading edge. So this will line up against that. And I'm just going to pin it in place. And then I'll go along and hit it with some thin CA. And that will secure the That will secure the plywood to the balsa wood. Okay. I'm actually going to use a knife to press it in, push it down low. So I don't want to push it in a way that tilts it. The straight edge is handy to keep it all, to make sure I don't glue a bow into it. Again, on this part, I didn't mention it, but along where, I've, where I'm doing this, there's packing tape underneath, so it won't get stuck to my building board, which is an important consideration. Okay. All right, so that's now glued and straight because it's against the straight edge. So now I can take that off. There you go. There's leading edge glued to a straight edge. Okay. And that 
will slot into here. By virtue of the fact that I've just glued this to that lower part, it set the right height off the building board. So the it, it keeps the this ply leading edge from drooping or doing anything funny. It's nice and straight. And I can double check that again with the with the straight edge here. Make sure I can even lay it on the, the other piece of the leading edge. And just lay that up against that. So a little bit center needs to come in a little bit. Of it. Pretty good. Let's go make sure that it's all It's a little bit tricky to get this to seat. I think I might even have to trim the wing down a bit better. But it's moving, the whole wing is moving. I need to make sure it's all pinned down. Just checking to see that it's, the ribs are making contact with that leading edge. Okay, so that's the leading edge of the ply core inserted. Like I said, the whole purpose of this is to give you a nice hard edge that'll prevent you 
scalloping or cutting too deep as you shape the leading edge. It'll give you something to shape down to, which will be hard and resistant to sanding and planing and whatnot. So that, I think I'm gonna give the wood glue treatment. I'm having second thoughts about that. I don't want to do that because the wood glue will make a lump that it will be hard to get the the uh, top side of the leading edge on. So for this job, actually, NCA is the best. I don't want a lump there. I want that to just be nice so that I could lay the, the top side. I want to I'll sand off this so that it's flush with the front of the ribs and then uh, glue in the top side of the leading edge. But really what I want to do here is get it all with thin CA. Okay. I'm just going to lift all this and have a look at it. All this seems too fiddly to you. Just as easy to grab a piece of scrap out of your building, out of your box, out of your scrap box, and just glue on a straight leading edge and carve it. That's another way to do it. Perfectly acceptable. So there you can see there's a little bit of gap back there so that needs to be filled in but I can do that with a bit of a strip of wood but you'll see see there's like a nice hard core to the leading edge which will make sanding and all that relatively pain-free in theory I'm just going to take down this extra sheeting on the leading edge so that it's flush with all the rib fronts. So now the top strip of leading edge will go in there, like that. Before I do that, I'll just Where the, where the 
put the pins. So this one I can use the thicker CA. Just run a bead right down the middle of the leading edge. So there you go, feeding edges in place. And it should be relatively easy to just shape that to the correct shape. So that's the center panel of the wing done. Other than shaping and sanding, of course, there's a lot of sanding to do. Um, but I will leave it at this stage now and shift gears to do the, the tip panels. And for the video for instruction, I'll just do one side of the tip panel as an instruction, and the other side I'll just build. Um, and that'll show the wings. And then once all the panels are done, you can set up the dihedral and get on with the sanding and that kind of stuff, which I'll just show you sort of the key parts of that. You don't need to see me doing all of it. Um, and then moving on to the, the stab which is basically a V-tail, so I'll do the V-tail, it's pretty simple. And then the, the fuselage, and the fuselage will, like I said before, needs a bit of a redesign. I need to change the shape a little bit so that it can accommodate a uh, electric motor. So that's where we're at. You know, if, if you can build this part, which is nice and strong now, uh, this might actually be stronger than my first one. Then um, the rest of it is certainly not com more complicated than this. It's pretty easy. So there you go. More to come. Thanks for watching.